my dear students today i am going to discuss a very very complex circuit but let me solve this complex circuit in a simple and easy manner how are you going to solve this one baby this is a simple structure of a star shaped resistors connected in this fashion and he is going to ask you to find out the resistance across a and b how are you going to find out the resistance across a and b it is a complex wheatstone bridge i will prove that it is a complex wheatstone bridge in step by step process in a very simple way so this is a star shaped structure now you have to find out the resistance across a and b then how are you going to find out the resistance across a and b so here uh, if you consider this r r and r this is 2r in series it is in parallel with r so you can write 2r into r by 2r plus r which is going to be 2r square by 3r so this is going to be 2r by 3 so this complete is going to be 2r by 3 here again these two resistors are going to be in series and this is going to be in parallel with this one and now these are 2r in series and it is in parallel with r baby so here again this 3 combined together it is going to be 2r by 3 as it is similarly these 3 are going to be 2r by 3 and these 3 are going to be 2r by 3 baby so 2r by 3 2r by 3 2r by 3 2r by 3 i am simplifying this circuit in this way now so the upper part is A and these two for example they are C and D. So these are C and D and this point is said to be B here. This combined together it is 2R by 3. This combined together it is 2R by 3. This is 2R by 3 and this is again 2R by 3. Now here this is A, this is C and D and this point is going to be B again here. I am simplifying this again in this way and this is going to be R and R and this is R. 2R by 3 plus 2R by 3 it is going to be 4R by 3 and this is again going to be 4R by 3 because 2R by 3 and 2R by 3 are going to be 4R by 3 here. Now if you take this Wheatstone bridge and make it straight like this, and it's going to be a Wheatstone bridge where we can just see here this is resistance R in the middle. As this is a balanced Wheatstone bridge because P by Q is equal to R by S. So this is 4R by 3, this is 4R by 3. As it is a balanced Wheatstone bridge, no current passes through this middle resistance. And 4R by 3 plus R is going to be 7R by 3 because 4R by 3 plus R is going to be, if you take LCM, it is going to be 7R by 3, my dear. So this is 7R by 3, these two are going to be 7R by 3, 7R by 3 and 7R by 3 are going to be parallel. Then by using the formula R1, R2 by R1 plus R2, you can write like this 7R by 3 into 7R by 3 divided by 7R by 3 plus 7R by 3, R1, R2 by R1 plus R2 gives you a resistance across AB. Then, my dear, your answer is going to be 7R by 6, which is the answer uh, is resistance across A and B. So, in this way, uh, stage by stage, you can simplify the circuit and get the final answer, my dear. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. If you want to take a screenshot, you can just take it, baby. Thank you.